Madison Cawthorn, the swamp is very real, but my God, chill out. So last week, Madison Cawthorn, one of the youngest congressmen in the United States, was dealt a pretty stunning upset when he lost his primary, which means that he is not going to be a congressman anymore. Now, this was in the wake of multiple scandals that I believe that came from the right, hitting Madison Cawthorn from everything from um, alleged inappropriate behavior with uh, young women when he was a co in college to some embarrassing sort of like behind the scenes sexual innuendo videos that came out. All of this stuff was a concentrated effort, I believe, by the right to destroy him after he did a podcast interview in which he spoke of orgies and drug use in Washington, D.C., which also, by the way, I continue to believe is totally true. But anyway, he is not going to be a congressman anymore. And... I think that this is a young man that was dealing with a lot of different issues. There was a political article that came out that was very fascinating, probably one of the most deeply reported articles that I've seen written about him, about the injury that left him paraplegic, about the mental health issues that he dealt with in the wake of that, about how he kind of rebranded himself into this inspirational figure and then got launched into the stratosphere once he won his congressional seat. Now, when he suffered that loss, you know, when he got knocked out of the primary, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for him to take a step back, chill out, find out who he really is before he got back into the fight. But just a couple of days after that, he literally made a statement in which he said, it's time for Dark Maga to rise up and knock all of the rhinos out of Congress. Now, look, do I believe that he is right about that? And he is right about the fact that there are a lot of rhinos in Congress and there is a uniparty that promotes a globalist agenda that is coming from both sides of the aisle. Absolutely. Do I believe that two days after losing the primary was the right day to say that? No. I think that when you're somebody that young and that successful that quick, you're going to be manipulated and you're going to have a lot of people around you that are going to be using you to push their agendas. This is what politics is. I have seen it with my own two eyes. I've literally been on the other end of that. So my advice to Madison Cawthorn is this. Take a step back from politics. Chill out. Spend time with your family. Spend time with God. Do what you need to do outside of all of this space and all of these people that are around you trying to use you to push whatever agenda it is they're trying to push. Get one with yourself and then get back into the fight. I'm honestly wishing you the best of luck.